des Leiden auch sein Grab. Jeder Strom wird mir gewinnen. So my plan was to do a 24-hour performance of the Winterreise by Schubert, where I would begin with a normal Winterreise with piano accompaniment and then sing alone, and then the pianist would arrive again, and we would do another final run-through. Maybe about 15 people stayed for a whole run-through of A Cappella Winterreise. And then just, you know, more and more people left. And there was this, this one guy who, when almost everybody had left, he positioned himself right in the front and even took off his shoes so he wouldn't make noise when he was moving. And I could just sense that he was, he was waiting for the moment that I would finish my last song so that he could applaud. And uh, I noticed that, so when I finished my last song, I began with the, with the first one straight away, and his reaction was like, no. And um, I think that's sort of the reaction that um, people were feeling after the first run through. Just like, no, I, I can't believe that. I'm in this situation where I have to leave without, you know, I have to leave and I have to sort of make a scene. And, you know, that's exactly my plan. That was my plan and uh, it worked very well. And then, you know, after two hours of singing, suddenly, you know, there was this party that was beginning, techno music. And some people had maybe gone out to dinner and came back to check if I was still singing. So the atmosphere was something completely different. All of a sudden, I felt like I was, in a, I was a caged animal in a zoo, and people were having a party around me, and just, ah, look at that guy, you know. So I did sing for, what, nine hours straight in venue one, and everybody had left anyway. Um, and then I just slept a few hours and now I'm back here at venue two and we'll start, start to sing here completely alone until people will arrive to the concert. I've very often had the situation after a good performance that I am after the last note, you feel the eagerness of the public to begin clapping. And to destroy this moment by beginning to sing again, this was, this was an incredibly powerful moment, uh, one of the most powerful I've ever had in my career.